Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, you got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke. Hey. Uh, feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's? Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to Radio Free Oregon. They take so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Saying something? It must have been fun. Uh, hold me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how uh, a Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. The knife. Worse than the rippers. If if you hadn't been there to to hold me down. I don't know what would happen, Deke. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, Deke. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling feeling a little woozy. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're at a bad fucking round. Yeah, I, I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer.
Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out.
God damn it. this. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. 
The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Let's work. Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sanium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I wish closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Yeah. Yeah. You got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know, goddamn well, you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. Wow, god damn. Here now. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. These are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, 
When does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... A job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Say, John, you was... Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. Saint John out. Got something to say about ready where are we headed this time you're gonna have to trust me okay where are we going you know what they use the mine all around these parts yeah uh mercury or something that's right cinnabar the extracted mercury from cinnabar Folks back east think it was gold mines out here, and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building. The one in Sherman's camp. Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike, the place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, 
Where there are holes, we'll be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah. I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. left after all and well, they... oh hell you can see what they did like I said two people walked out of this town after all was said and done and some days the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... You, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo's so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? <sighs> Never mind. Come on. Let's get this done. Here's the door. The place is locked up tight. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much light, kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. You didn't like kids. Wow, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one pointed that. Even smart ass drifters. Come on. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Yeah. Weren't you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? 
Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were on the ship. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Damn it, where is he? Goddamn town down on us. What a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Addie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. Rippers, why you wanted me? You didn't see that shit. You know, Nick, I always saw a bit of myself in you back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. All you care about your friends. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Karen will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp didn't stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to 
kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. He don't count. He's standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Dave. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you, My truce will hold. You can bet on that. I'm like, I ain't gonna bet on that. The truth ain't gonna hold. Now, for once, I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Yep, gotcha. Okay. Hello. Hey, Blair. How's life? Now that's an upgrade. All right. Thanks for stopping by.
Hold on a second. <laughs> I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. One of the biker boys. Let him in. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thanks, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Could you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. So he did. Remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. <laughs> Yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Schizo wanted to go after him, 
but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close. St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Copeland. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Peeking out. Not one. Yeah, time to light it up. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like it. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel it right now. I think they call that phantom pain. That's what Eddie said. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me know when the LZ is locked down. And this time, I need you to plant those trackers, trackers on your helo. They're I know chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. Oh, okay. We're ready to upload the data as soon as you're close. Crater. 
Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Anyone else hear uh, that? Yes. Salome. <laughs> On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. I heard he said flying all know. over hell and gone until you finding time to read. Oh, Jesus, I'm right. Don't. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Wasn't even my turn on the Brian. Oh, Brian, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Oh, Brian. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Saying something? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like it to you there. But seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand. You know? I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Eddie said. It sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. I go to flex it and. Anyway, I, I gotta get going. Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Gonna see if I can uh, pay off the damn pay meds that Addy has me on. Later. Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. John out.
use this. Done. Goddamn freaks. Now it'll be safer to ride through here. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke.
Done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deke. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them and they won't be coming back. Seem like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. I'm taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there.
Come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Fix this. Let's go. I should stop for fuel. Shit, there he is!
How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? What? No, no, I didn't see him. Yeah. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. That's right, I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Sniper ambush on the road, damn it. Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper. Later, finish burning out these. <sighs> Let's see. It should work.
Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. He'll get a chance to tell his side that of it. Be it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Uh, Iron Micah. Can I help you? Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. What yeah, the hell? another one. Thanks. Get back Dick. to work. I appreciate come it. Come on, get to work. Hey, Deacon. Hey, Alka. Just see him what you got. Need supplies, weapons? Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Need anything else? Okay, sure. I'll see you later, man. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hold on, I'll get the break.
attack. It was looking like for a change. Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and, uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but, like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um... He lost the arm anyway, and and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or... No, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know? You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe it's because I was telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you.
Sorry. The old wagon hotel that I'm heading in. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know. But if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John now. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Larson, how are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. Talk you there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tucker out. You got something to say about it? <laughs> you don't want to run out of fuel in the ship, that's for sure. Back to work. Deacon. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's the camper? St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker, who wears a red scarf. He and his crew came to the gate the other night. He yeah, wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards, then took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp, just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. How you doing? You uh need something, man? Hey, Manny. 
will be the last time. Ran into a pack of infected dogs, wolves, whatever the hell they are. Runners, they call them. I was on this crappy bike, falling apart out from under me.